Say psych right now. Say psych right now. And I got it and it's so much weirder in real life. It shattered, didn't it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? How are you guys doing today? Oh my God, I sound like Voldemort, huh? Harry. What is up you guys? How are you guys doing? So today's video, I'm actually so excited to film because I thought it was like such a random thing. So what had happened was I was scrolling on Ulta's website because I buy the brand Lana Lips on there, which is like a lip balm that I use like literally every single day. It's like one I go through constantly. And I was just like kind of clicking around. So I'm like, you know when you're already on the Ulta website, you're like, might as well just click around and see what's going on. I saw like the online only section, right? And there is so many things on the online only section that I've never even heard of. So many brands I've never heard of, had no idea that they were a brand, had no idea what they offered, none of it, had no clue. And it almost felt like it was like this like Ulta secret menu that I had no idea what was going on. How did we all not know this? I'm sure we all did, I'm sure you guys all fucking knew, but a lot of these brands here, I bought something from every category from these brands I hadn't really heard of. And some of the brands I had heard the name, but I've never tried any of their products before. So, and some of the brands I've literally never even heard the name of the brand at all. So I'm really excited to try this out. If you guys have heard of the brand and you guys love the brand, that's freaking amazing. Don't get mad at me for not having known what the brand is. I apologize in advance, um, but sometimes I just don't know everything. You know, I don't know all the brands. I don't know all the products. I don't know everything. So go easy on me. But anyways, guys, that's what today's video is going to be. We're going to be testing out a ton of ultra secret menu, online only exclusive products, th brands I've never heard of, never even dreamt of. Um, and that's what today's video is going to be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't like and watch it. And I'll deal with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like testing random makeup, if you guys like the gays. Up and down, girl. But I've seen people do it left to right. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, but yeah, let's go and get into today's video. <laughs> we got an entire box of goodies here. I did like the little Ulta, you know, two day delivery, like the quicker delivery system. That sounded like a picker up or like a, a vacuum, quicker picker up system. By the way, you guys, huge shout out to Coast RX for partnering with me in a portion of today's video. They are a Korean skincare brand I had actually never heard of, but they're on Ulta's site. They have their own site, of course, too. <laughs> they have so many different kinds of skincare, but they're actually known for their snail care. They are known for their snail care, if you will. I've never tried snail care before. I can't say that I have. What I'm gonna do halfway through this video when I'm doing maybe the brows or something, I'm gonna throw in Manny out from the field, show you guys the goodies, cause there are plenty of them. I really, really like the BHA, the AHA, the toner. Really, really, really impressed with some of their quality. I actually talked about my stories um, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and I said like I used a BHA serum for the first time the previous night and I noticed my pores look smaller. This is the one. And I was very pleasantly surprised by the product. So, man, yeah, on the field, he'll come out later. Don't worry, he'll show you guys all the goodies. But let's just go and get started with the goodies. I'm pulling out everything. I'm pulling out on the stops. I also bought more Lana lips. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, anyways, guys, so let's go and move on. We're gonna start off. We're gonna start off fresh. Um, this is the first product here. This is from the brand VDL. I can't say I've ever heard of this one. I've never heard of VDL before. This is the Satin Veil Primer. And we just have a little pinchy primer. And that's what we're gonna use today. And the packaging is adorable. Um, Satin Veil Primer. Okay, let's try it out. I believe it's an online exclusive. I've never seen it in Ulta before. So this is one I've never really heard of before. The only way I would ever maybe potentially hear about this brand is if it was like in a BoxyCharm box and I just saw it in passing. Maybe that's happened in the past, but I've never like heard of the brand, like knowing about it, if that makes sense. Same what goes with all these brands. Maybe it was a box charm, I don't know. This is the VDL Satin Primer. So let's go and try this out. The bottle's cute, it's a frosted bottle with a pump. Oh, it's coming out like a jelly. And for some reason I thought it was gonna look a little bit more. Oh Lord. It's one of those primers where it feels very silicone-y. Smells lovely, absolutely lovely. You know what? Yes, it does feel a little bit more on the silicone-y type of side. However, it's not as slippery as like I've felt. It's not like professional, my benefit. It's not that slippery, but it's definitely more on the slippery side for sure. But it feels actually really nice. <laughs> I don't know, I'm actually kind of impressed. Feels very slick. If you don't like the feeling of like that silicone-y kind of slip, you won't like this at all. Um, but let's see if it did anything to our pores. Let me see the pores, how do they look? They look the exact same. You know, I would say the pores look maybe a hair 
smaller, but literally barely. So I can't say it really did much for the appearance of my pores or anything like that, which I thought like those usually, those feeling like that usually do, but this didn't. So, huh. <laughs> so yeah, so apparently I just, I looked at the website and it said it's supposed to be a pore blurring primer that is, uh, gives you a natural matte finish. Controls oil, which is great helps prolong makeup. So I would say that I didn't really see a difference when it came to the pore blurring, maybe like the smallest amount, but not too much to be quite honest, but it's drying down now and feels decent. Not the best pore blurring primer I've ever used, but it's okay. I'm not mad at it. I'm not obsessed, but I'm not mad either. Let's move on. We're gonna move on to a foundation. This is from the brand EXA, E-X-A. This is one of the brands I've never heard of. Personally, this is the High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation charged with anti-pollutants. I love anti-pollutants. Don't pollute this bus. Okay, and the packaging, it seems very sustainable, which I really, really, really appreciate. And this is what it looks like. It looks like a little bottle. It's a little bottle, E-X-X-A. No, just E-X-A, what? I'm gonna add an X's. X's and uh. What the actual hell? Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? There's a pump. <laughs> I didn't know there was a pump and I was literally about to be like, are you like, what is happening? Is that, what kind of applicator is that? There's a peachy pump. This is in the shade 470 stiff. I didn't know what shade to get. Shit, it's a bit dark for me. We're gonna go ahead and use some of this. Say psych right now. Say psych right now. This is Laura Lee's color. My check, one, two. This can't, this can't be happening right now. Listen, this is the shittiest part about buying like foundations and bullshit online is this is what happens. This is what happens. I thought this was gonna be my color. I'm not kidding. Like, are you? I hate it here. I will say, despite the color, I actually think that the finish and the foundation itself is shockingly pretty. It gives me like this more natural, lightweight finish. Not very heavy at all. It feels like nothing's on the skin. It feels like very, very lightweight. It feels super, super nice and hydrating and it gives you this gorgeous radiant finish and gives you a little bit of coverage. Not a lot, a very little. This is great for the, the people who like, you know, the really natural trend right now. Oh, where's the concealer? Okay guys, so we're gonna take the Amazing Cosmetics Hydrate Concealer in the shade Fair. Again, a brand never heard of Amazing Cosmetics before, but we're gonna try this out and it's a little stick. And this might be our saving grace. I look like, you know what I look like? I look like Donald Trump. <laughs> I look like Donald. With my white ass under eye and my orange ass skin. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna use this concealer. It's very uh, creamy and I'm praying that it does us good. Yeah, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna have to do that you guys. Like I literally have no choice here. Look what's happening. I'm an orange grease ball is what I look like. I'm scared. Okay, let's go ahead and blend that out. Oh my God, it blended like it's literally nothing. Holy crap, that blended so easily. Usually when it comes to like dense cream concealers, they don't blend that easily. They never blend that. E are you joking? Look how fast that was. Holy crap, that was so quick. You guys are seeing this, right? Like you're seeing how fast it's blending away. Like it's not hard to blend at all. The coverage I would say is definitely not full, by the way, this is like more of a medium coverage, medium to probably buildable coverage, but this is definitely not a full coverage concealer. This is not a full coverage kind of moment for us, but it blended so easily. It has like a luminous uh, satin finish as well. Wow, I'm like kind of shocked by this, how quickly it blended. I will say the, con the Coverage isn't enough for me. I want more. I want more, darling. I want more. So I'm reading off the brief from the Ulta website because I just want to kind of look it up a little bit more. The cool thing about this is that it's an emollient formula, blends effortlessly to the skin, literally does blend effortlessly, it was shockingly so. Smooths and hydrates the skin surface. I feel like that's true. Contains vitamin A and E, which will help the signs of aging. And this is actually called the Amazing Concealer Hydrate. So it's literally a hydrating concealer and I can 100% see that as the case. It's so emollient and creamy, it's actually a shock to my system. A shock. I'm gonna see if I can just build a little bit more coverage there because it's not a lot and I just like a little bit more. I'm I'm glowing. This concealer is an actual glowing concealer. We've passed hydrate, baby, we're glowing. So this is what my skin looks like, you guys. I'm literally glowing to the high heavens. I'm glowing to the high heavens. Ma'am, I've never been so distraught by foundation color, by the way. I've never been wrecked like that. I've never been wrecked like that by a foundation color. Excel, you kind of hurt me there. I need a different color because the foundation itself was so pretty. But the color, 
that was a miss. It really was. By the way, you guys, I'm obviously wearing that hydrating concealer, but it's not creasing underneath my eyes, like really at all, which I'm very surprised by. I'm sure it will crease soon if I don't set it, because I have very creasy, problematic under eyes, but I'm impressed it hasn't creased like quickly because usually I crease pretty fast. So kind of shocked. Oh, she's creasing a little bit, but not that bad, not that bad. Anyway, guys, before I set my face, I'm gonna go in with this. This is a new brand I haven't heard about before. This is the Holika Holika Jelly Dough Blusher. This might be another cream brand. I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna take this cream blusher and we're gonna cream blush this bitch on up. It's cute, I like this. It has like a little thing, it has a little sponge. And we're gonna try that on. Okay, that's actually really, really cute. Let me see if I can try it with my fingers instead. It's a very doughy consistency, a very doughy matte cream. I'm gonna try it with my fingers instead. Ooh, ooh, I like that. If you blend it out with the sponge too, it does disappear a little bit. I would definitely recommend doing it a lot, but this is a matte cream, a matte like full pigment cream. What? You know what actually the texture reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of the the e.l.f. ones, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of those, that e.l.f. doughy consistency. The e.l.f. cream blushes, it gives me that kind of consistency vibes. Blends super easily, kind of blends away to nothing, like slightly, kind of blends to nothing, which I don't love. But you guys see how it's like a literal, it's a matte blush. It doesn't give you any kind of like sheen, but since it's a cream, it's not gonna like look super matte, but it's definitely doesn't have any sheen to it. It's cute, I think it's cute. I wish it was a little bit more pigmented and didn't blend out as easily because it did blend to literal nothingness. So let me try to just, and just kind of keep it there, I think is what I'm gonna do. Cute, 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 cute. Let's set these under eyes before I start screaming because now it's starting to crease, but not that bad, still not that bad. It's just starting to now. But next you guys, we're gonna go in with the brand Well People. I actually recently just got a package from Well People. I had never heard of them before, this package I got. It's a Bio Brightener Invisible Powder. I didn't get the powder in the package, so I'm like, son of a bitch, I couldn't use that. I didn't get that. This is made in the USA, Bio Brightening Invisible Glow. Invisible glow? Universal glow. So we're gonna glow some more. Let's put it under our eyes. It's nice, it's not glowing. Okay, this powder is so finely milled, it's actually kind of shocking. As soon as I put it onto my skin, it disappears. Like it literally like blent into my skin, like it was nothing. Like it was literally nothing, it feels like air. Okay, this powder is like really impressive. Like it's set my under eyes, it doesn't look luminous, but it doesn't look flat either. Do you guys see that? I was like, I put so much on my nose right now and it literally just disappeared into my nose. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Disappear. Oh, bitch. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna go powder my face, you guys. I'm gonna powder my face. I'm gonna finish up some of these little nooks and crannies going on. And then I'll come back to bronze together. And of course we will highlight as well. We'll do the whole fantasy together. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to Manny out in the field. Go on, Manny, give it to us. So it's that time, you guys. <laughs> Manny out in the studio. The studio today is the bathroom. Okay, that's a dirty ass towel. We're not gonna talk about it. But today I'm gonna show you guys how I use my Coast RX products. This lighting be changing up on me. <laughs> and we're just gonna be doing a little demo. First things first, we're gonna be using the AHA BHA Vitamin C Daily Toner right here. Look at this guy, stunning. I've been using it as you guys can see. How I like to use this is what I'll do is I'll put a little pad. What I'll do is I'll, sir. This horse is strong in this one. What I'll do is I'll get a little pad, a little cleansing pad. I've already cleansed my skin, by the way. And I'll take the toner. The toner is, you guys, toner essentially is like the primer of the skincare. We, it primes us. I put a little bit on the pad right here, you see, soaked. It's basically the primer and it primes our skin for more skincare, yes. This is also a very, very lightweight toner. And yes, it has AHA, yes, it has BHA and vitamin C, but it's not heavy. It's not a ton. So it's like you can actually use this interchangeably with the other products I'm gonna use, or you can use it on its own. How I like to do it is I'll use this on days that I'm like, you know what, I'm good. My skin's feeling fine, I'm chilling. And that's when I'll use it and I won't really use it with other AHA and BHA products. But today, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. Cause I'm Manny out in the field. And we're an experimenter. Okay, we're gonna put it on, rubbed on, on the skin. By the way, you guys, if you guys wanna try any Coast RX products, I actually have a 30% off code with Coast RX. Right here, it's gonna float right here. Manny MUA with Coast RX for 30% off. 30% off. Next, I'm gonna go in with this. This is my, this is my baby of these products, you guys. I love them all, but this one, the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. How come no one told me to use BHAs before? 
Why don't no one tell me? I'll take about two to three pumps of this and I'll rub it into my skin and I'll put it all over my areas of the face. What? <laughs> so BHA is fantastic for cleaning out your pores. You guys, literally, because this is the thing, this is the thing. I got sent this product like three, four weeks ago to test out to see if I liked it. And when I first used this for the first time, when I woke up the next day, I'm not kidding you, my pores looked smaller. And obviously like you can't just make your pores smaller, it doesn't work like that. You can clean them out really well though and they'll look smaller. And so that's exactly what BHA does. And this is just like such a nice lightweight version of doing it. Didn't dry me out at all. It just felt very, very cleansing and actually still like plump. I was like, so you're gonna clean out my pores or you're still gonna hydrate my skin? I'm down for that. Essentially, BHA is like daily mini exfoliation. It's like a leave-on exfoliant. It's gonna help with dead skin cells on the surface of the skin, get rid of them. You're gonna have clearer, smoother, softer feeling skin. That's kind of the whole point of BHA and AHA. Just kind of get rid of those pores. Not the pores, the pores are staying. Basically get rid of the dirt inside the pores and same with AHA, it's a little bit stronger. AHA I use about every other day. This is the AHA serum. This is the AHA Whitehead Power Liquid. And as you can see, whiteheads, the little bumps on your skin, we gotta get rid of them. And this is what's going to do that. AHA is a little bit stronger. So I use this every other day. Alongside of course the BHA, I use, I use the BHA every single day. Maybe these pores need it. That, just like I did with the BHA, I'm gonna use the AHA as well. Oh, I love exfoliation. You are able to use an exfoliant with AHA and BHAs, and luckily the Coast RX's one is like really, really mild. It's not as strong or intense as other brands are, so you can use them interchangeably, but just not on the same day. If you're gonna exfoliate your face, don't be using the BHAs, AHAs. It's just like too much exfoliation at one time. So. Just wanna remind you guys that little side note. This also has enriched mineral water and tons of different vitamins in it to help your skin be less dull, less dry. And honestly, now that I've been using AHAs and BHAs, I will never go back. I feel like it really helps balance my skin. I feel like now I have a really, really proper routine to use things that's gonna help with my skin texture. That's kind of what I've been doing the last like month is this. And I've honestly seen a massive difference. I'm gonna show you guys in the light what my skin looks like. Now that everything's applied in, and of course I'll moisturize after this. I just wanna show you guys what everything looks like with my skin up close. So as you can see, of course I still have pores. I'll always have pores, they'll always be there. But they're cleaned out and they're getting cleaned out currently. Random side note, if you guys wanna focus on the surface of your skin, the AHA is fantastic. If you guys wanna focus on clogged pores, the BHA is fantastic. If you wanna focus on both, get them both. Period! But honestly, I see a massive difference with the BHA and AHA. I feel like my skin looks so clear. I have a little breakouts and I still will always have breakouts here and there going on. But overall, using these have made a massive difference in my routine. So, Manny out in the field, out. I'll leave it back to you, Manny out in the studio to finish and look absolutely divine. Manny out in the field, you're honestly just wonderful and you're stunning. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you're not because you slayed it. Like honestly, I'm really, really, really impressed with your guys' BHA, AHA, and toner. So good. But anyway, you guys, let's move on. I already powdered my entire face and I definitely do have this soft, like radiance to it. It's definitely not flat, but it's not completely matte either. You can see there's a subtle sheen. I'm very, very impressed with the Well People powder. More impressed than I thought it was gonna be. It's a very lightweight, finely milled. Like honestly, like I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. And let's go look at the rating, bitch. It has a 4.5 rating out of five. Well, people were not playing any games. They weren't with this powder. They were not playing. Okay, anyway, let's move on. I'm gonna move on to the next product. This is from a brand I have never heard of. This is the brand Han Healthy Active Natural Pressed Bronzer, Bronze and Tea. Bronze and Tea, in the shade Malibu. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. All natural ingredients, certified organic. A lot of these brands, you guys, they are giving me natural, they're giving me organic, they're giving me like just good. Let's take a little bit of the bronzer. It's a nice like neutral looking shade, a little more on the cool side, but it looks a little neutral to me. But let's go and just apply it and see how it applies. It applies very smooth. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like, it has like a sweet aroma to it, it's like a sweet, beachy scent, almost like a coconutty vibe. Made to be clean and green when ready to dispose, remove band from palette and place box in your curbside recycling, period. Made from 100% recycled paper and plastic free biodegradable band. That's this. By the way, I'm very impressed with this bronzer. I think it's beautiful. I like the color. Oh my God, it builds so quickly. Holy shit, I wasn't ready. It builds. Bob the Builder. By the way, I really I really genuinely am impressed with this bronzer. I think it's very, very, very pretty. And it blends so easily. And the fact that it's like biodegradable and natural and green and all these amazing things is really, really, really cool to me. So shout out to Han. 
H-A-N or Han. Listen, you guys, I'm not gonna say I like something or I'm impressed with something if I'm not. And even though it's a smaller brand I've never really heard of, that does not mean I'm not gonna be extremely honest with my opinion about what I think. And so if I didn't like this, I would say, I don't like it. Like point blank period, I would absolutely say that, but I definitely am actually impressed with the bronzer itself and the way it blends. It was so easy. All of it was easy. Take some of that bronzer. <laughs> Dude, I have to wash off my neck too today. She's washing her neck today, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and apply some highlighter. This is the Winky Lux Powder Lights. I have heard the name Winky Lux before, so I have heard of that brand. That is a brand I have heard the name. I've never tried anything from Winky Lux that I know of. Maybe it's in a boxy charm, I'm not sure, but I've never like actively tried them separately. So we have this Winky Lux Celestial Powder Highlighter that's dusty all over the packaging. It shattered, didn't it? Let's open it, let's find out together. Okay, so she shattered, completely shattered, like not even savable. So, because she shattered, what I'm gonna do, is I'm, I mean, honestly, it's a highlighter. We can use it as a loose highlighter. I'm still gonna test it out and put a little bit on a little highlighting brush and use it as if it's a loose highlighter, so. We're gonna take the shade Celestial and put that onto the outer portions of our face. Okay, so this is loose, right? It became loose because it broke. And for it to be this soft, when it's loose, it's like kind of shocking. Like you would think it would have more bang with its buck for it being a loose powder now. Usually when it's loose, it's a little bit stronger. So I'm actually very shocked that this is as subtle as it is. It's beautiful on the sea, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it gives me a very glowy, ethereal vibe. Like it's not super crazy. I'm surprised. I'm definitely, definitely surprised by it. What do you guys think? Do you guys like them? Let me know what you guys think of them. If you guys have tried them before, mine obviously came completely shattered. If you guys like them, let me know. And I'll buy another one to see and like test it out. You guys, honestly, I feel like I'm making it work. I do, but like, I feel kind of ugly. I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little ugly and it's making me kind of sad. Ooh, it's creasing, look, creasage. Even set, it's creasing, even set. That's definitely the concealer for sure. Cause that shit's emollient. It is very emollient. Okay, let's move on. Smooth on. We're moving on to the brows now, you guys. Moving on to the brows and our brow product. This is gonna be a long video, I can tell. It's gonna be a long fucking video. But I hope you guys are having giggles because I look like this. Guys, okay, so for brow, I'm gonna do one brow on camera. I'm taking the Brow Divine by Nabla. Nabla is a brand I have heard of. I have heard the name of them, but I've never tried any of their products, but I have seen them posted on like tea pages and you know, makeup tea pages and stuff like that. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna take their Brow Divine in the shade Neptune. Made in Korea, brow pencil. Let's try this bad boy out, why don't we? The shade might be a little light for me. Ooh, yeah, that's the color. Bitch swear. It's like the literal lightest shade, I apparently I could have grabbed. This was not the best like shopping experience on my end. Like I could have done better shopping wise, but here we are, <laughs> here we are. I don't mind this brow color because it is light. It reminds me of like a soft taupe. Um, but usually with pencils, I like to go slightly darker, but I think we'll make it work. The pencil is awesome, by the way. I like the way it feels. It's really creamy, it's really smooth. It feels really, really nice, actually. I wish I had a little bit of a darker shade, but still. Pretty nice. We're gonna make it work. Like Tim Gunn says, you're gonna make it work. Make it work. Okay, cool, so this is what it looks like. <laughs> it barely looks full, barely looks filled in. What I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna take a little bit of a brow gel and like kind of give myself a little bit of a soapy brow appearance to make them still look a little bit more full. That's what they look like, you guys. That's what they look like. The pencil itself was gorgeous. I wish I had a darker color. I'm gonna go finish the brows off of camera and I'll be right back. We're gonna use our eye moments that we have together. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to look as best as I can. I am, I'm gonna try really hard. Anyways, you guys, I am back and the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Go Toros. Um, I was gonna say back in the brows are fucked, but like, I like the feathery brow look, so I'm not angry. I'm not super happy, but I'm not angry either. Anyways, you guys, let's go on to the eyes. I'm gonna be taking the Smith & Colt Sombra Shift eyeshadow palette. I have heard of Smith & Colt. Specifically, I heard of, they have like a primer that's like a foamy primer. I wanted to buy and I was gonna go actually buy that, but it was sold out on Ulta's website. So I ended up getting the Smith & Colt little palette and this is what she looks like right here. Just a really cute small palette, nothing crazy at all. But I just thought it was a cute little neutral color story. There's nine shades, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have one, why is one pan circular? and the other pans are square. Hmm. Hmm. So let's go ahead and just do something cute and something neutral. I'll take this middle shade right here. I'm taking that on a Lunar Beauty LBE2. <laughs> and the brushes are back, by the way. They're back and the brushes are filled. I'm gonna take that into the crease. My eyes are already primed, by the way. That's nice. It's a nice color. Easy to blend and to apply. I like her. I took a little bit of that 
really pretty rosy shade too, just to mix and match. By the way, you guys, have you guys heard, I'm sure you guys have heard, it was literally everywhere, about Colton Underwood coming out as a homosexual. Ma'am, he did, he came out as a homo. Mr. Colton, he's a homo. He is a homo, and you know you better work. You better work, Miss Thing. By the way, this is a LBE3. Um, I'm just kind of blending out the edges, by the way, of the last shade. But you guys, I was a little like, shooky, but not like sh too shocked because to me, he's always had gay face, you know? How you can just kind of see someone and be like, I think they're gay. Like there's like a little twinkle in the eye, a little smile. That's what I've gathered from Colton. He always kind of had that, but I was like, well, he's the bachelor. So clearly he's most likely not gay. Here he is. He's a raging homo, just like me. <laughs> You guys, I was actually shocked. So not like so many, but I got like a pretty fair amount of DMs from people being like, hey, Colton's gay, can you get at him? And I'm like, girl, y'all really just think that's how it works? Do y'all really think that's just how it works? Oh, Colton's gay, cool, let me just go after him now. He's my boyfriend now. Girl, y'all, listen, that's just not how it works. By the way, I'm using this dark, the darkest shade here, this dark brown one. It's giving me a little trouble. Maybe she ain't moving. Whew, that was a little difficult. That was a little difficult, but I mean, it's a dark, 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 chocolatey brown. Those are harder to blend. I understand that, but it shook me for a second. It shook me. But um, anyways, you guys, it's just so funny. I got so many DMs from people being like, time to get at Colton. It is not that easy. Let me just tell you that. I'm taking the shimmer on my lid. I'm also most likely 99% chance of it. I'm not his type. And this is more of a generalization. This is me generalizing here. But he gives me very like mask for mask vibes is what he gives me. Very mask, like he seems like the type of person that would like want to date someone that looks like him. That's the energy, that's the vibes I get. I don't look like him. Baby, I'm not the white all American jock, okay? That's not me. I am not that person. I'm a little Latino boy who loves to wear makeup and have fun, who's really funny and witty. That's me. So I know that it would never happen, but of course I slid into his DMs anyway. Basically what I just said, listen, listen, before you guys assume, I just said, uh, congrats on coming out. I'm happy for him because he grew up in a very Christian, religious household. So I'm like, you know what? I understand. Like I literally wholeheartedly understand what he's going through because I went through the exact same thing, something similar. Um, and so I just said, hey, I'm happy for you that you are living your truth, like, good job. That's all I said. Um, he never opened my DM, which is totally fine. I didn't expect him to, but it's always, I feel like nice to have some support from the gay community when things like this do happen. That does not mean I'm co-signing his past behavior with Cassie, by the way. I am aware of his fucking weirdness and like the fact that she had like a restraining order. There was like so many weird things going on with Cassie and his relationship. I don't know the full extent of it. I have no idea, but I'm absolutely not co-signing that behavior. That was absolutely ridiculous and I'm not co-signing it, but that does not mean I can't say congrats on him coming out because that's a whole different situation and I'm happy for him, you know, I'm happy for him. And I know that the Cassie situation that's like resolved now and the restraining order is not there anymore and you know, they fix their issues, but that shit, that, that, that kind of shit follows you around. Baby, that ain't gonna go away soon. Let me just say that, that ain't gonna go way soon. Anyway, this is my eyes, by the way. I think they look really cute. Super easy, super chill look. Um, The shadows blended nicely. Other than that really, really dark one, it was just harder to blend, but it's still, she came around. She came around fully. And that shimmer on the lid, way cuter than I was expecting. Anyway, you guys, I grabbed a little eyeliner moment. I'm a little scared because I looked on the side, I was like, oh, it looks like a different unique eyeliner. I'm kind of want to try it. This is from Undone Beauty. And I got it and it's so much weirder in real life. It's like a little stamp looking thing and it's so thick. It's so thick um, and I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for that kind of density. You know what I mean? So we're gonna just try it out a little bit. We're just gonna put this on our eyeliner. This is the most non-pigmented black I've ever seen. Okay, baby, where's the pigment? I'm confused. Girl, that's like brown. Did I get a brown on accident? Unscripted liner, true black. Okay, Um, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And it's also like sheer as fuck. That's what it looks like right here. Let me show you guys another eyeliner that I have here, just on the desk. Let me show you guys one on the desk. We have this one by Makeup by Mario. Makeup by Mario. Undone. Um, I'm gonna need you guys to undo this. That's a big difference. So, that's a no for me, dog. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Keep it up though. So moving on. Didn't love the eyeliner, not my tea, not my journey. I'm gonna go in with this product. This is from Jane Eardale. 
Never heard of this brand before, Jane Yardale. This is the Longest Lash Mascara. It has like this little gold component. The component looks really pretty. It's nicely like, it's nicely done. It has a nice little emboss at the top. Okay, Miss Jane Yardale. There's like little, okay, there's like fibers in it. There's literal fibers shooting out from it. So that worries me. That worries me that's gonna be hard to take off. That's why it worries me, by the way. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Y'all, are you, is this a joke? It barely is coating my lashes, dude. Barely. Let me try dunking again. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe it's dried out. I'm gonna put on my lower lashes, you guys can see. Okay, um, three coats later. That was very not good. Um, did nothing. <laughs> did nothing. Barely coated my lashes, at, barely. It's probably the, one of the worst mascaras I've ever tried. One of the worst for me. Maybe I'm using it wrong. If you guys have ever used a Jane Iredale uh, mascara and you guys like it, this is in the shade Black Ice. Let me know how you guys use it, how you guys like it, because I am confused and flabbergasted and floored. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put some lashes on and finish the other eye off of camera. And I'll come back to finish off with the lippy and we'll be done. Okay guys, so we are back. The eyes are on. Moving on to the lip now. And we have here, you guys, this is from Kiko Milano. And honestly, this packaging is very cute. And I feel like I've heard of Kiko Milano before. I feel like I have. I feel like it's a, could be a drugstore brand. I could be crazy as well, but I thought it was. But the packaging is, Really nice. It has like this really pretty like embossed middle part here. I'm impressed. This is the 501 Jelly. So it's also just, oh wow, it's like a crystal. Oh, it's a crystal lipstick. I see. Feels nice on lips though. It doesn't feel like at all gritty, like a glitter wood. I'm kind of impressed with that. I'm like kind of shocked. I didn't expect to feel that. Like it feels much better than I was expecting. Cause when I tell you I was expecting grit, cold, hard grit. Anyway, I also have this. I wanted to toss on top of it. This is the Sarah Hap Lip Expert Ballet Slip One Lux Gloss. So back in the day, back in the day, like when I lived in San Diego days, I had this Sarah Hap lip slip and it was like a lip uh, treatment that I wore every single night before bed. It was fantastic. I went through like, I think I went through two of them, which is a lot, by the way, that's a lot. And I loved it. I just haven't repurchased it or bought it, but I remember like being obsessed with it. Um, okay, so this is the, what it looks like. This is the component. The component's okay. I don't love the component. It just gives me like, I don't know, for it being like a luxe kind of gloss moment, the component's a little cheapy looking to me. It doesn't feel cheap, it feels nice but it looks a little cheap. I also just don't like square components. Never really have. Um, let's go and take a little bit of this gloss. Okay, it's a little goopy for me. Okay, so that's a little heavy for me. It's a bit dense for me, fam. Not my style of gloss, it's a little bit too heavy. It's a little bit too thick. A little too goopy for me, personally. I'm into more oily, no stick glosses. That's my personal fantasy. Very Lunar Beauty vibes, that's what I like. So this is not my journey. I'm sure it's very hydrating though, which is great, but that's just not my tea. And that is it, you guys. That's it for my entire video testing Ulta Secret Menu makeup that I just like randomly found on their site. There's been a lot of hits. And there's been a lot of misses for me in today's video. There's been a, it's been a journey. I'm glad that we're on this journey together. If you guys made it all the way over here, I love you. I love you. I do. I'm sure it's gonna be quite a long video, but I just wanna say thank you guys for staying with me this whole time. This is what the makeup looks like. I feel like we've got it to a good place. I don't feel as not cute as I did earlier. I felt a little bit rough. I'm not gonna lie, I felt a little bit rough, but I feel like I look better now and it could be worse. It could actually be a lot worse and it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'll be fine. I'm gonna live. It's okay. I will survive and thrive. But anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I had a lot of fun creating this. I kinda wanna do this again with like other Ulta things or even like a Sephora version of it. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this video, I can definitely do it. I'm done. I'm, I need to go watch this off because this is rough. I love you guys so, so, so much. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Over me. <sighs> I have a thick neck, don't I? It's thick, it's dense. I'm a big man, I'm six feet tall. I weigh 195. <gasps> oh my God, I'm sore on my back. I worked out yesterday. Don't ever do that again. Hercules, Hercules. Not the best pore blurring primer I've ever, wow, that's hard to say for me. Do I look like a grease ball? Be honest, you can be honest with me. <laughs> quirky, I look so ugly, <laughs> quirky. Y'all tell me why my power just went out right now. It like literally just like reset. Like it went off and it was off like 10 seconds and everything just turned back on and I was like, 
If I can get killed. 